Hey everybody, Live to Fish here, and today I am on the way down to the spillway. And uh, you might be thinking, well, what the heck am I doing in January, going down to the spillway, possibly getting on some open water? Well, it has to do with the fact that we've had some warmer temps here in southeast Michigan, haven't had a whole lot of ice, so you gotta take what you can get. Now, if you're from southeast Michigan, if you're from the Lake St. Clair area, you kind of know a couple of names. One is Dennis Anderson. Now, that name is synonymous with muskie and some big fish, and uh, we're going to get into Dennis Anderson in a little bit here. Also, the guy I'm meeting up with today, Mike Coleman. You can't really say musky around Lake St. Clair without adding Mike Coleman to the mix. As luck would have it, I got nothing going today. Mike gave me a text and uh, said, hey, come on down. So I am westbound on I-94, heading down to the spillway, and we're going to see what we can get on down there. Not only that, but I'm going to give you an update on the Crocker boat launch. May not be much of anything that's still not open yet, but we're still going to take a look from the drone and see exactly what the progress is being made. So sit back and relax as we go musky hunting with Mike Coleman from the shore of the spillway right here on Live to Fish. All right, let's get right to it, jumping into the Crocker launch update. And as you can see, well, there isn't much concrete being poured, and I think it's uh, due to the frost situation. I think they have to wait until the ground's a little warmer. Again, I'm no expert on this, but uh, just from the comments I've read on social media, sounds like it's going to be a while. So we're looking at possibly spring, maybe, if that. So your guess is as good as mine. But here we have the new boat launch area. This is at the south end of the DNR site. Again, it used to be located on the north side. Now it is being moved to the south side. You can see here, they got the crane in place. So currently there's no boat ramps, there are no docks, and again, this is closed to the public. It still says under construction, so it's not even open for any shoreline fishing, or if the ice ever does form or the lake freezes over, there will be no access for ice fishing as well. And here we are at the final destination, at the shoreline on the spillway. Here's all Mike Coleman's gear. And if you're looking for something uh, more than just some shoreline fishing for muskie, there is Mr. Muskie Charters off of Lake St. Clair. And that's something that uh, Dennis Anderson works with. I'm going to leave a link to that uh, down in the video description in case you're interested in hiring them. Sounds like uh, if you want to get on some muskie, that's the way to go. So yeah, looking at all that gear right there, that is just for musky fishing. You can see Mike is well prepared, and uh, Mike, thank you, because I showed my wife that, and uh, now she doesn't think my bass addiction is all that much out of control, especially looking at uh, those musky lures and uh, the cost and the money you have invested. But let's take a look at this video that Mike shot just a few days prior and see how that paid off for him. I'm on. He's on. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. I got it. Got it? I'll get it. Oh, keep that mouth right where it's at, buddy. Little guy. <sighs> Little guy. That's good right there. Yeah, he ain't that little. Nope, definitely not that little. <laughs> this gets ya. You know, in 
and uh, a couple of my bass buddies, you know, like swim bait, they, took, they get slapped on swim bait. Right. I'm not a swim bait. Okay. You know, when I'm bass fishing, I'm either on top, netting, or drop shot. So you don't get slapped. Ah. And last year, I'm swimming a bait, and, and like, it's like your line got cut off. Yes, yeah. You yeah, you think you got bit off. And I'm like, what, what, what? And the longer you pause, yep. you know, this year I got slacked twice. Boom, I knew exactly what it was, and it was like, yeah, that's a great oh, Getting slapped is almost as fun as getting slammed. Right. It's that yeah, anticipation. My cast has gotten way more accurate this year than last year. Further, more comfortable with how long I can let my bait sit. Now, when you're casting those out and they hit, you let it hit bottom? Or what's your technique on that? These won't hit bottom. Well, they will if you let This is called the shallow, shallow swim dog. So when it hits the water, it's got a slower fall to it. I don't know, you probably can't see it, but it stays a lot higher. Yeah. Then it's uh, 13 feet deep in the middle. So even if my bait falls, and once it gets to the middle, it's kind of falling on an angle. I can literally count to 12 before it hits the bottom. Probably even longer than that at 13 feet. So I don't think it's falling a foot per second. These ones. But you cannot beat the 8.1 gear ratio, ratio and the drag that these pro reps have. And it has this, uh, Daiwa has one little patent on this release, so even in the cold weather, it kind of spits out the ice. That's cool. Yeah. All right, well, no muskie were caught today, but uh, we did catch some sunshine. And uh, to be honest with you, that's probably more rare than muskie down here in Southeast Michigan this time of year. Believe me on that. So do me a favor, don't forget to check out Dennis's channel and also Mike Coleman at uh, Metro Kayak. I'm gonna leave links to both video channels down in the video description below. So until next time, be safe, be well, and as always, live to fish. Take care, everybody.